Hi, it's Ferris here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog, Pretty Little Bottom. Today I'm taking part in the Swatch It Like It's Hot from Catherine Puller Designs. It's a video hot to celebrate some new ink swatch products that are coming out today and I'm showing you some creative ways to use them and just looking at the selection of items as well. So to begin with, let's just have a take a look at what items are coming out. So there are a variety of stamps, die set and stamps with existing dies in a collection as well. So there's a little tag die there for your ink swatches, but you can also use the layered tag set that's already out with Catherine Pooler. These tags can work with the stamps for the ink swatches, but they can be used in different ways, which I'll show you later on in the video as well. So you have this ink swatch selection, it's got like monochromatic, analogous, complementary. So if you want to create your own colour wheel, you've got these stamps there for it. And you've also got lots of stamps of all the ink colour names, the ink colour collection, so the family collections, party collections, spa collection. So I'm just going to show you how I cut down my cardstock to create my ink swatch tags. Now, I did originally do it on a piece of A2 card, and I found I got five pieces out that way. Instead, what I did was I took a full sheet of card and cut down into one and a half strips by eight and a half. And this meant that when I did that, I could get four out of the strip. And then I got about, I think it was 24 or 28 out of the whole card panel, full size panel. So if I'd done that with just the A2 panels, I would have got 20 out. So I got at least four more, maybe four to eight more, depending on how good I was cutting. And that meant that you were really being able to stretch your cardstock and you get more of your tags cut out. So I so just rang the tag through my die cut, you pop it out, and you're just going to remember to pop out that little hole. So it creates that little hole to obviously put all your tags together. Now that original piece where I cut out that A2 panel, I added a bit of sticky tape to the back of it. So then I could insert all my tags into there. And I damp the ink swatch stamp, the overall stamp, over the top several times and I know it won't change positions. All I have to do is remove that tag, put the new tag in and colour up. So I'm just quickly showing you how I did that. Just really stamping it down, giving it a good inking. So remember some love taps with Catherine Pooler ink pads. Just transfer the ink and stamp it down and you get good coverage with Catherine Pooler inks. That one stamping can be simply enough. Remember those inks will dry back uh, lighter so just bear that in mind and as I said you get a stamp set for both the party collection inks and the spa collection inks so all the colours that are out at the moment in those two collections there is a stamp with every name on so I'm just using my acrylic block and some blackjack ink just to stamp directly down into the middle of the tag and I just sometimes stamp it off just to check I've got not too much of an excess ink and then re-ink it and stamp it again and as you can see, it has stamped so easily. I've got a lovely ink swatch now of that colour. And because I've done it on the cardstock I use, I know what it'll be like. So I did this both for party collection as well as the spa collection. And I have them on separate tags so I can see them quite clearly and choose a colour when I want to. Another way to use this is if you love to use Catherine Paula inks to sort of watercolour because they are ink water reactive, you can colour with them. But I started to create my own ink swatch blending of the colours. So I wanted to create a swatching of mixing the colours and see how the colour changes. So I've got it to refer to. Now it's a very long process, so I haven't completed this yet. And I've only started for this for the party collection. But I wanted to show you the process. So I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock here. And then I'm just marking out um, horizontal and vertical lines to create a grid. Horizontally, each division was eight millimeters and then vertically they were five millimeters. And then I could create this grid for which I could then stamp all the names down for. And then obviously I did rotate it so that I could then start making some marks of the horizontal axis of all my positions, which were five, but I didn't draw the lines off until I'd actually stamped all the names. So as I said, you've got those stamp sets with all the names. So not only can you create your ink swatches, you can use them to stamp all the names on your sort of watercolour swatch out blending ink mixing tool. And this did take a while, but I was quite happy. I sat and I watched some something on my tablet and I just passed the time. And for me also at the time, I was experiencing a bit of a creative slump. Uh, a lot going on in my work life. I mean, I hadn't really felt very creative to get back into card making and doing something like this, just so simple, was just so therapeutic and relaxing for me. 
So I'm just going to let you know about the hop. There is a chance to win a $100 gift card to Catherine Paula Designs Shop. So make sure that you like, comment and hop along for your chance to win. You need to leave a comment along all the hop stops for your chance to be a lucky winner. The winner is going to be announced on the 26th of July and it'll be announced over on Catherine's YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. So once I'd actually stamped out, drew all the lines for my grid, I could then start colouring these in. And the first colour I started off with was chiffon and I went for the lightest yellow because I wanted to not taint it at all, I wanted it to be a pure yellow. I then started mixing it with another yellow nearby, just adding half of the chiffon and then half of the lemoncello and just mixing that together and then colouring this on the grid as well. Now you don't have to colour, so you will have two lemoncellos and chiffon mixes. So you don't have to colour both in, you could just have this and it would create like a diagonal swatch across the page, but I just wanted to start filling it in, so I was doing it both. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could have one being more um, part lemoncello to chiffon, and th that could be one coloured square, and the other square could be more chiffon to lemoncello. So you could also do it that way to show the differences of adding more or less of one colour and how that affects the colour blend. I found after a while an easy way to speed this one up was to have a selection of inks already dotted out and then the colour that I was then going to be um, mixing with it, I would then dot that alongside each one and start mixing in, picking up the colour and colouring it in that way. It did speed up the process but as I said it is a long process but I found it's really really therapeutic to do. I've still got lots to do and also what I found was it was really interesting when I was mixing some of the colours. You could see how once you mix this party colours how you can get some of the spa colours and I was looking at them and thinking oh that looks like a queen for a day in the spa collection or I was getting a bit more of say like a juniper mist or um, the merlot. These colours were coming through as I was mixing some of the party colours together, so that was great. If you've only brought the party collection of inks, but you love to colour with them, and watercolour with them, this show this is a great way of mixing them to see how you can get those more creamy toned colours in your painting, even if you don't have the spa collection. When I was doing this, I really thought it'd be interesting to see how the spa collection swatches out like this, but as I say, I haven't finished my party collection yet. So I also just wanted to show you how you could use these ink swatch stamps to also create cards. They are not just for ink swatching, you can use them time and time again with your cards. So here I have one of the layered tags, dies cut out, and I'm using some of those large swatches to stamp with. And I've just used a stick, sticky mat in my Misty just to keep it in place, so I knew, knew the swatch would go completely from side to side of the stamp. I'm then stamping this down in in dress blue ink um, and then I'm moving it along and I'm then stamping the next sort of thinner stripe in suede shoes and I repeat this up the tag until I'm happy with it. Once I'm then happy with it I then also stamp two additional lines over the already inked and coloured stamping in embossing ink because I wanted to add a bit of gold uh, touch to my tags and so this meant I could then cover this with a gold embossing powder and heat set just to add a little bit of variation. So this is a great way where you can create your own custom pattern tags and then coordinate it with any wrapping paper that you're going to be using. However, I popped this onto a card base. I had a little bit of soft ink blending behind it, added a sentiment and then a few sequins just to finish those cards off. So for all the details on this card, you will find them over on the blog, including what supplies I used to finish it off. Now, I wanted to also show you another card, another way of creating a fun background with these ink swatch stamps, all these different blocks, stripes, small squares, and I used a collection of inks, triad colour combination. So these are three colours that are sort of, um, create a triangle on the colour wheel that complement each other and go well together. And I'm just stamping with Flirty Fuchsia, Uptown and Catching Rays and creating my own really abstract background. It was really really fun to do and then I trimmed it down to add on to a card front before I added a die cut sentiment and embellished it with some sequins. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments below sort of what card, which card was your favourite if you had one 
Or have I shown you a technique that you think, oh, I really fancy trying that and this ink swatch bundle is a great way to use it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you do hop along the hop for your chance to win. And remember to check out Catherine's channel on the 26th of July to see the lucky winner of the $100 gift card. Until next time, happy crafting.